Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to more Zero. Welcome back to the World Series round number one. Today, up at the top of the map of Vendetta, we have the USA laser with the green. This is Drunkle. I mean, someone told me this is called Dr. Uncle, but I mean, if you're not putting capitals or spaces or anything, I am calling this guy Drunkle. Bit of a dark horse. You've probably not heard that much about him, but he recently won some, like, semi-level tournament. I think it was the semi-World Series. I don't think it even should be called that, by the way. But basically, they do this semi-level World Series, and I, and I think he might have won it against, uh, was it Selviso? In the in the final, pretty convincing scoreline, like seven two as well, and I think he's got some decent wins against some decent players, so I'd watch out for him. Down in the south, we've got my uh, one of my favourite player names, KP Kakashi, with the red, and I don't even know uh, what he is actually. Um, some kind of USA <laughs> professional level commentary here. Basically, some kind of a USA mirror here. Laser against... Might even be a laser mirror. We will find out soon. Or maybe we won't even find out, actually. Actually, is he... Uh, is he super weapon because he's only got... No, no, I don't know, actually. I just, I just don't even know. Okay, Drunkle has gone for this drop. And then into a War Factory next. Quite a simple build. Well-known build. Drunkle could be uh, laser locking the dozer there. Ooh, almost gets it. Just needs one more tap. But behind this, KP Kikashi is going for two oils on the right. Okay, he's getting himself one. If he had a few missile defenders here, he'd be able to scare away this V, and then he would enable himself to get the other one there. But Drunkle brings his own V and Rangers. V is taking quite a bit of damage. Those are picked off. Last Dozer is that one on 1 HP. V coming in here for KP Kakashi. But Drunkle is here with his own two Vs. He's got Missile Defender here, so he should be able to lay his lock. There's a double Missile Defender there, by the way. And Drunkle was on top of the crushers there. You can see uh, this guy knows what he's doing because he was ready for them MDs to pop out. And he'd be there straight away with a V to get the crushes. KP Kakashi now pushing over on the right side with another V. Needs to get that dozer repaired in the war factory because basically one tap and that is going down for sure. Okay, V sent to his death there for KP Kakashi. He's finally trying to get this oil now. I do feel like he could have had it ages ago, though. If he just had a few missile defenders earlier, I scared off that initial V, that could have been captured, I promise. I promise you on that. But, uh... Yeah, now this is kind of backfired because now he's only on one supply. Only on one oil, which is now getting denied. Drunkle probably going to take this place for himself. Drunkle's got upgrade advantage because he's got the toe upgrade. And... KP Kakashi does not have that. Hmm. I think a lot of people would just be going in with M2Vs now and going around the back here. That could probably end the game, but Drunkle seems more scared that there could be something uh, coming into his base. He would be right. There is something coming there. But those two MDs definitely need to stay in that position. How good is Drunkle's map awareness? Not perfect, because that V should have been laser locked. There is a V coming around for KP Kakashi as well. I like the aggression here from him and he's getting the kill on two chinooks over on the left by the looks of things he's shooting at a supply den for a second and now that attack has been stopped but drunkle is looking very vulnerable very killable in general to a lot of people now because he's just lost two chinooks basically for free there he should not have um, had them there in fact that v should have got laser locked straight away so drunkle looking a little bit vulnerable here 
But, I mean, he's still probably going to win because he's got the toe upgrade. He's pushing now with five Vs. Needs to get some drones on here. A few Hellfires, a few Spy Drones. Yeah, V is now going to probably descend on this position. Yeah, these are not being microed whatsoever. I don't know where KP Kakashi is looking, actually. Maybe he had something else in the base that we've missed, but all of them missile defenders there should have been laser locking. And now the game is decided already. USA mirrors are always going to be quick. And KP Kakashi has been feared. Well played there to Drunkle. Did look a bit vulnerable. Wasn't absolutely flawless or perfect. But he still gets himself uh, quite a convincing 1-0 lead. Okay, jumping into the reverse. It was Super Weapon down in the south. It is the weaker army. Supposed to lose. This is the green Super Weapon that is Drunkle. Up in the top, we have USA Laser for the red player. That is KP Kakashi. Yeah, even if it was supposed to be Dr. Uncle, it wouldn't make sense. You don't you don't say Do Dr. Uncle. <laughs> I mean, unless his surname is Uncle and he is a doctor, you don't say that. So I actually think it is Drunkle. Um, Kakashi looking like he's going for a one supply build again. And Drunkle looking like he's going for a two supply build. Three MDs. It's looking exactly the same as before. Looking quite similar to before as well for Kakashi. He's obsessed with getting these oils. Lazlock comes in. Oh, he probably could have got that, you know? I don't know if he pulled off or if the Chinook just moved just out of range. Uh, but already that's a bad start there for Kakashi because you do not want missile defenders underneath your supply when you're collecting. Yeah, that Chinook should not be there. Nah, that's already decided. That's already GG. Because now, if a V comes out or if a Dozer was just there to deny that Ranger, that's already... Uh, it's already a super bad start, but that ranger could be being uh, stopped by a dozer. Should just be a dozer there for Drunkle, just uh, looking around. He would be able to get that crush. Game one oil, though, doesn't make up for the one loss of Chinook. Hmm... Poor Drunkle could have got the crush there. It loses a V in the end, and actually Drunkle keeps uh, keeps the V alive. It's actually KP Kakashi that could have gone for the crush. Bit of a ranger and missile defender fight. EMP on the left-hand side from Drunkle. Missile defender gets cleared up. I mean, that Chinook there is still low. That barracks gets stopped. Is he just going to brute force kill this oil now? Or is he going to try and capture that for himself? He's got a drone in the base, so he, sh he should know that this guy's only gone for one supply. He's low economy. He is going to try and kill it, actually. He's thinking about it. A little bit of indecision there from Drunkle. He's making a strat. I don't think he has enough missile defenders in this first. I, I would be beefing this up a little bit before making that strat. He is making more missile defenders back up. Base, though. That V might be able to get in. V from KP Kakashi is going to run straight into an EMP. It's very bad news. Might be able to stop this dozer, though. 
from building the strap, but is he going to evac? Does evac. Strat's finished now, though. That's the difference a few seconds makes. And already back at home, his base is decimated. That oil's still in play, though. Search and Destroy is deployed. Still one dozer, and Kakashi has been defeated. Yeah, well played there from Drunkle. 2-0. Okay, jumping into the next one. We're on Sovereignty, actually. We haven't seen this one in a while. For the GLA Tox, the green. This is Drunkle. Down in the south position. Up in the north. We have the China Tank for the red player. And this is a KP Kakashi. Bit of an interesting map, this one. Because you have a main supply in your base and three oils. But you don't have an immediate second supply need. I suppose the closest one is that one or this one, but both are a little bit further away than, than normal, so it does change your build a little bit. Drunkle gone for the double barracks. Looking to get three oils. There is a fourth one there. If you want to send a rebel there early, you can try to get four from the beginning. But he's gone for one supply. Some people like to drop that supply down as well. I think getting the tunnels up and um, making sure you get in your oil and getting your first unit out, probably considered by many to be a priority. You could say, I suppose, is that tunnel necessary? You could have skipped that and you might have been able to squeeze out a supply with the same amount of cash, perhaps. You can also sell one of these barracks once the, the capture upgrade is researched. Because you basically rush out two barracks, one gets the capture upgrade. Ooh, this is bad, you know. But yeah, the Tox allowing that to happen. You could have popped some RPGs there and shot the explosive barrels. And he's also control fire in the ground. What the heck is he doing? That's very poor from Drunkle. <laughs> I don't know what I'm watching. That red guard could have also exploded the, the explosive barrels. Oh, what kind of pop is that? You could have got crushed. He's going to lose a technical. He's going to lose maybe everything here. This is bad from Drunkle. That's bad. He's given the oil to the tank. Only collected on one worker down in the bottom left and lost his first technical. I think what separates like the very top players from like the mid-level players with the GLA is like a, a lot of it is about what you get out of the first technical. Some people's first technical, the top players, that first that same technical is alive from the very beginning of the game until like 10 minutes into the game. And it's caused all kinds of devastation and distraction in the base. Uh, but that one there, that was one of the poorest technicals I've ever seen. KP Kakashi behind this is going for a helix. There's scorpions. KP Kakashi having some quite good success here. He has cleared these tunnels. Uh, tank ground army combined with air units of, of, in the form of helixes is very, very strong. Because it basically forces him to make quads, and quads get wrecked by the ground army. So, yeah. And now this oil is in danger. Palace is already up, though. That's super, super quick there from Drunkle. He's already collected on the left as well. I think he needs more units out, though. Keep producing from double arms dealer. Actually, he's, he's only gone one arms dealer. That's the issue. That's why he's got pushed back there, because he's only gone one arms dealer. But I don't think Kakashi will be able to push in. Don't head towards that palace. It's just a death sentence. He just lost one battle mass there for no reason, really. 
Three Helix is now in play. And he's going Emperors. Okay. And it's fast expansion here from Kikashi. There is a tunnel up here. But Flamers and Battlemasters should be able to push through that, even with the RPGs there. Yeah, Kashi backing off. I don't think he should have backed off. He should be pushing with the three Elixirs and that ground army. And he could have pushed in here, cleared those tunnels, and could have actually finished that oil. But the Helixes are out on the map, clearing up other areas. Oil has not been killed. He wants to get it for himself. KP Kakashi. Emperor now in play. But I mean, with uh, with a palace, that's going to get sniped. And then might get stolen if you don't back it up. So just one Emperor is a bit strange. There's one snipe and one steal. And suddenly that heavily backfires. Here's the Jarman. It's currently not doing anything though. <laughs> Now he is, but the Overlord's already retreating. Maybe you saw it pop out. Nah, he's going to get it. He's going to snipe it. Oh my god, what is he doing? Okay, he snipes it now. Alright, Jean got flamed down. Um, the Overlord's going to be stolen back. Or taken back, rather, not stolen back. An extra supply for Kakashi over on the right. But there's a Gamma Bus out, and it is pressing the issue up in the top left. Four Helix is now out. He has uh, Liminal Meshjin as well, but it doesn't affect uh, Empress. I say that, but the Elixirs fly over and were giving it there for a second. The reason it doesn't give it is apparently there's a spelling mistake in the game's code that doesn't let them get the Subliminal Meshjin. In the new community patch that might be coming... They're fixing that so it will get subliminal question, which will increase its power by like 25%. But the, you know what they're also doing? They're also increasing its speed by like 25%. You run the risk of uh, creating imbalances by just randomly doing changes without the input of any pro player. Okay, so Kakashi goes back for now. This is one of the longer matches we've seen so far. Kakashi's still trying to get himself on the scoreboard. I mean, he's still here as the tank, but the longer the game goes, the more battle buses come out, and the more um, secondary eco or Scud Storm comes out of the Tox. Yeah, the longer the game goes, the more and more it plays into the Tox's hands. So that's why I think you should have pushed. You need to take risks earlier on, because the longer you wait, the harder it becomes. Is he going to drop down a nuke and get the speed upgrade, I wonder? There's a lot of Gamma Busters out now, and those Helixes do not want to go anywhere near that. In fact, all of the tank stuff needs to stay well away from that. Only maybe Napalm Mix. Huge fight, but Gamma Busters just wreck absolutely everything the tank can make, and every single Helix has gone down. And that is why, my friend, why you should have took a risk over here. 
started pushing in and closed down that palace before all of this could happen. Because the longer you wait, the worse and worse it gets. And look at the XP now. One fight like that, and that is that is uh, already decided that game. You, you can't come back from that. I'm sorry. Because everything that Ox makes is better than a tank. Kakashi floating 10k needs ECMs with this army because if them battle buses pushed there now without the ECM nearby, all of them would go down. He'd be level five instantly. Drunkle. Drunkle knows he's one after that, that engagement. 100% he knows. Just making so many units. Uh, he could easily just load up these battle buses. He could literally just push anywhere. You could clear that. You could just push straight into that army and clear it. It's already... Uh, it's already won. Literally this many gamma buses. The gamma basically means he's got that upgrade there, which makes the RPGs like way stronger. I think like 50% stronger or 33% stronger. Something mental. It means they fire like uh, pink traces when they shoot. But just look, man. He can literally just click anywhere. He could go and delete that right now if he wanted to. Just go straight down the middle of the map. And it is won. He probably wants him in the inside of the... Um, tunnel though, because I think if that tank army pushes now, all this in there is basically quads and maybe a few scorpions. Okay, he's pops his quads now. Um, so he's got the battle buses ready to go. Where's he gonna pop? If he's preparing more back at home, then he could just um, he could just go in with him, or is he, he's probably waiting for this big blob to come in. Here comes Jean Michel again. Barbus is going to push. Yeah, they're going to push in straight down the left. There's three Scud Storms up. This is 100% done. At this point, you just drop down loads and loads of tunnels, more and more buses, and this is game decided because that, that's just unstoppable for the tank. Even if he came in with MiGs, they probably can uh, return fire and just kill the MiGs as well. Just look at how fast you delete buildings. The only way you can stop that is with ECMs on the ground. Saying that, though, this Licks is going a bit crazy, isn't it? See, it even shoots the MiGs because the RPGs for Tox don't miss. If they fire, they don't miss. I mean, okay, congrats, you killed four buses, but two are down to the hole. But you still lost your entire base on the left side. Still going to lose this. He's going to be level five in a second. And Frax Bomb, Sneak Attack, and GG. Just more tunnels for Drunkle, just so that this attack doesn't do any damage at all. Just a massive line of tunnels. Oil being killed, oil being killed. Drunkle's level 5. And Frex Bomb, here it comes. Mm. Just looking at the placement, should it have been a little bit closer to his base? Still kind of good. I mean, yeah, like I said before, after that first engagement, it was already done. You could say, even fr from that point when he went back, that was that was already a done deal. He should have should have been aggressive. You can't hang around as a tank. Just look at all this cash, man. They're both players are floating like 20k now. And Kikashi has been defeated, I'm afraid. He has uh, just this little portion of the map left. And Kikashi has really been defeated, but yeah, it was kind of uh, one side of the fair since that first um, initial bad engagement. So yeah, GG. Well played, Drunkle. Takes himself to 3-0. Okay, well, on for the reverse. We have the China tank in the green for Drunkle up in the top of Sovereignty. Or Sovereignty. Am I, have I been saying it wrong? Do I say Sovereignty, but it's actually Sovereignty? Yeah, I don't know. Down in the south, we have the red GLA Tox. This is Kakashi. Or KP Kakashi. How many K's does he have in that name? Three. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Got a supply going up on the right side. He's going to try, isn't he? He's going to try a truck rush. 
And then a flamer, probably. And judging by the star, it might actually be able to get in. Mm, will he go to the night out or will he just leave that? Because it's just kind of standing idle anyway. He's going to get in, in here, kill some workers. That's why you should always have a, a TNT ready. Because now a, a flamer can just walk in and you're already not collecting on your main. He, he is building a second supply, but currently he's only got $375. Tentacle needs to get straight on that. Oh, man, he could get some workers here. Oh, my God. Oh, that's extremely bad, Kakashi. Uh, it's a gap that the first unit is. Thought that would have been a flamer, in all honesty. It's a flamer behind it, but it's a gap first. I suppose this gap is a little bit quicker than a flamer. It will actually get in. Um, Drunkle behind this has gone for oils. Why is he not doing anything with that gat? You should have killed that, should have stopped that, and should have stopped that. He's not paying attention, Drunkle. But he has that flavor in his base anyway. Take RPG. <laughs> no dozer there, my friend. And he also did risk running on the mines there. He stopped one, but I just don't understand why he's just giving that for free when he had a gat right there. Maybe he was paying attention to this in the base. Maybe that's what he was doing. But the main supply's already gone down. The flamer can sometimes just kill the scorpion. Especially if there's two, though. Yeah, he gets a, he gets a fair two flamer for it as well. Tech RPG's going for the dozer hunt, but there's another dozer out. He's going to probably step on the mines now. You don't expect it necessarily on the power. Yeah. It's GG. And KP Kakashi, my favorite um, favorite name, or one of my favorite names in the World Series. So far, not having a great start here. He goes 4-0 down to Drunkle. Okay, jumping into the next one up in the north position with the green player with the USA Air Force. Already 4-0 up, and then you get Air Force. You are very, very happy about that one. It is Drunkle. Down in the south, we have the red player with a China tank. This is KP Kakashi. Well, he's going for a uh, normal build. Drunkle, two supplies, War Factory Barracks. Some people would be doing a no eco there, but Drunkle wanting to play it normal. Two supplies from Kagashi. So if you do a very fast gap, like all the way up to the right hand side of the map and then get here, it is annoying. Uh, I think the Air Force should be able to stop it. Uh, if, he, if he focuses straight on it, but then you do risk a gap coming in the left hand side. You've got to stay, uh, stay conscious here of um, stay, stay aware of the attacks on both sides. We're going to have one gap straight down the middle. It could still be heading into that position though. And this one from Kakashi heading straight down the left. There's a fire base being built on the left. And Drunkle is going to go inside of this little checkpoint build. And the thing about this is you only put one guy inside of it. So one missile defender. But this has kind of got the right angle on it. Because it can just go through that gap. And through there. You don't even need to engage that checkpoint. So this is kind of okay. If he'd got no eco, by the way, he's not done an outpost. Which is kind of more of an anti-no eco thing. Yeah, that's nice from Drunkle. It is honestly very nice. G getting hold of that and also doing a fire base with one and missile defender in it, that is uh, really good at stopping any gats from coming in. Prop now being built by Kakashi.
Yeah, you see, every time the gat goes past there, the only way a gat can come in there and cause any problems is if he goes straight to the firebase, focuses that down, and tries to kill the, the firebase 1v1. Uh, but Drunkle is stopping everything. He is literally stopping everything. Prop's nearly finished. Which does change the dynamic here of these battles because you get ECMs in the mix. But I still think these gats should be brought back because without the ECMs, they're going to be free pickings now for the Vs. Which are now slightly vetted. Probably the missile defenders inside of it slightly vetted as well. And this is just free XP now for Drunkle. He shouldn't have lost that V there. Micro should have been a little bit better. Um, but Kikashi is not regrouping and putting an ECM with this because this would cause a bit more trouble if he had an ECM. I'm not saying those two gats and ECM would win the game, but you'd be able to come in and probably pick off at least one V, maybe even get close to the Chinooks or something. Uh, he's got a third supply, Kikashi. Why has he built double barracks? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, search and destroy. V's now roaming around. Like, those gats would have been perfect pickings for Drunkle. Would have been able to wipe all them out with search and destroy because there's no ECM by it. Now there's an ECM by it, but there's just no reaction. He's just going to lose half of his base here. Way too slow of a reaction there from K uh, KP Kakashi. Yeah, it's two kind of nice fire base placements. Maybe that one could have been a little bit further forward like there. Might cover this left bit a little bit easier. Another fire base. Fire base is one of the best upgrade, uh, best base defenses in the game. If you want to win more games, just drop down a couple more fire bases. <laughs> Doesn't require power. Always hits his shot. Very, very strong defense. Counters a lot of things. And only costs a thousand. Now, you got to use the range of the, the, the Vs with the search and destroy here. Don't get uh, locked down by the ECM. So far, so good-ish, yeah. Fire base is now raining down some damage. Yeah, basically, use the range. Don't send your Vs too close. Loses one there. He's got uh, chain guns there as well, Kikashi. And now building an airfield. Mm, I think he should have that up before the airfield comes into play. I mean, if you get, though, Gats, ECMs, and Napalm mix, that becomes very difficult for the air. That's the, the point you're aiming for. But a lot of players won't even make it that far. He's now coming in brute force against the Gats ECM. Needs to be micro on that. Currently, he's not micro on that at all. He's actually just shooting at drones, shooting at the ambo. And, yeah, if you're not going to micro, you don't deserve, honestly, to win the World Series. And, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, he was actually doing okay. He was actually doing okay. Because MIGs are on the way. Imagine if there was a bit better micro there combined with Napalm MIGs. He'd actually be doing kind of okay. This would be denied. You could clear that firebase by just going there with the Gats. But now, it's looking real rough. Drunkle should also make a combat Chinook at this point and try and pounce on the MIGs. Drunkle just going back. He's floating 8k. I uh, don't like that. CC being built on the right. He's building a particle. Okay. Mix come in. Takes out 1v for 1 mig. Kind of an even trade. There's probably one or two missile defenders in there, so it evens up the price. Spectre gunship is on the airfield. And without the airfield, these Vs are going to have free roaming.
finds the Lotus and KP Kagashi has been defeated. 5-0 yeah, there for Drunkle. But Drunkle does look a bit vulnerable. I don't think uh, when he comes up against the top player, I, I'll, I'll bet if he comes up against like a Vivid or a Marikar, I can't remember which party's on the bracket. I don't think he's going to win many games, honestly. Even though he did a good job there against Kakashi and Kakashi definitely came to fight. I just think Drunkle is making and there's a little bit too many mistakes to win at the at the top level. But I'm happy to be proved wrong. He did win that semi World Series thing that I told you about against Salviso seven two in the final. So maybe he will uh, come back to surprises. But for me, they're just a little bit too many mistakes. But you let me know your comments down below. GG, well played, and I'll see you in the next one.